out at Skyline Trail on this beautiful day. And we're about to ride the one wheel, well, the electric unicycle. People don't like it when you call them one wheels because one wheels are a very specific thing, but an electric unicycle, something totally different. So I got the electric unicycle and I have the dirt bike. The Suron costs probably like, what, 6,000 bucks and you can get an electric unicycle for maybe like 2,000 bucks, 1,500, somewhere around there. You know, a fraction of what you'd pay for the electric dirt bike. I don't expect it to be as comfy as the electric dirt bike or is easy to maneuver some of these trails, but can it at least, you know, keep up with it? Can it go, you know, on most of the trails? Let's check it out. A good point that Gabe made on the way up here is not only is it more expensive for the bike, but you also have to pay for other like little things. So not only do you have to, you know, get the bike, but if you want to take it any place, you're going to want to get a rack like this. I've done it a bunch of different ways and it's not always fun with ratchet straps and stuff. You actually, it's a pain and it kind of makes you not want to take it anywhere because it's such a pain to ratchet it all down and put it on this like really non-stable stand. So if you want something like this, like this stand, this stand's going to be like, you know, three, 400 bucks, if not more, you know, just something else you got to think about. With the one wheel, right there, right in the back seat, just like that. And you're ready to go. Put down the kickstand, that's it. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Pull it down like that with the other one. Yeah, and then kind of peel it off of that. You know? Not as easy, but way easier than uh, the ratchet straps. Boom. Having this rack makes me really want to take my bike places. Cause it's so convenient to put your bike on it and take it off. I've taken my bike a lot more places with this stand than when I was just kind of like ratchet strapping it down. You ready for this ride? Absolutely. Another thing you don't think about, helmet. I mean, maybe you do think about it. If I'm gonna get a one wheel or I'm gonna get an electric dirt bike or whatever kind of electric transportation, you're gonna need a helmet. So something else to think about, you know, something like this is gonna cost you like another hundred bucks. If you have the dirt bike, you're gonna want some gloves. Otherwise you're gonna have sores like that. Okay, let's send it. Already off to a bad start. There we go. Almost. Totally right over that.
treacherous trail, dude. Holy cow. This is really stuck, help. I got it unstuck for you by making it fall. Let me go back over it. My dude. <laughs> Go on. Go on, get it over there. Put it on that sports mode. Oh, that was a rough one. Ooh, did you see that? I almost slipped off the edge. Definitely kind of working up a sweat here. My legs aren't sore, but it's definitely taking a lot of like core and concentration. It's a little nerve wracking, especially with spots like this. I mean, oh, that's with anything, right? It depends on how comfortable you are on something like this. If you're not that guy, then yeah, I could imagine it would be a little uh, nerve wracking. Beautiful day. rough I forgot how rough it gets dude no oh my gosh. <laughs> if you would have done it I would have I would have at least tried <laughs> all right goes. Dang it, with these big old jumps, I should have sent it. <sighs> wow. <laughs> you just gotta go a little bit slower. Sometimes you need a little bit of speed, though. Ooh.
getting up these hills pretty well though. Hopefully he's up here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Found me? Yeah. Okay, cool. You went in the ditch? Yeah, well, I didn't go in the ditch, but the one wheel did. Okay. I know, and it went. <laughs> so I had to climb down there and pick it up and drag it up. Not bad. It's a workout. Reminds me of slacklining, but I'm like, it's like an endless slackline. This is awesome. <laughs> Here we go, up this big hill. Yes. Ooh, this is a hard part up here. Still gonna send it. Ooh. I don't even think so. No maybe. way. Yeah, maybe. I've seen people jump over curbs with it, and so like, I don't think it's not, it's not impossible, but not my skill level. uphill there is. Dang. And this one wheel is just crushing it. I'm actually pretty surprised. I don't know if you can actually see like the incline of this hill, but it's not a, uh, it's not flat. Gang, gangs together. Keep sending it. Still, still at full battery. Amazing battery life. I'm gonna go over here on the right. All right. Cool. Right there. Yep. That guy's just zipping. I think back in like these types of trails, if I had an electric mountain bike that could really rip like that, I mean, how much money I spent on the, you know, the X260, I could have gotten a really, really nice electric mountain bike. Why not? That guy was that guy was just zipping, and it's like made for this. I mean, you can, but you know, it's heavier. Aye. 
There we go. Ooh. Yes. And then this beautiful view right here. A little bench. Oh my god. No way, dude. Wow. That's San Jose. Yeah. That's all of it, dude. But I can't believe I made it on that freaking one wheel or that. Yeah, you're here. I know. On the one wheel. On the EUC. Full battery. Full battery. Unwavering battery. Same. Just throw in the back seat like that. Pretty easy. And that's it. It's a little difficult, but not, not too bad. No. Okay. We're gonna head down the hill, back to the crib, and I think maybe we might cruise around downtown. Let me get a little city, a little city driving in. Dang, the mosquitoes are out tonight. Yeah, in droves. It was fun. You can do it. It's difficult, and man, it was a workout. A lot of cardio for some reason. A lot of core strength. We're gonna cruise back to the city. Maybe do a little downtown driving around. All right, that's been electric bike and electric unicycle. I'm getting eaten up by bugs. Yeah. Okay, like, subscribe, you like these videos? I'll see you in the next one. Leave a comment. Tell me what you wanna see. You know I'll send it. <laughs>